back out. Yet again, we are in the wildest place. I have no idea where we are. But we've got a five mile hike, five miles, not kilometers, along this path, right into the wilderness, right into the wildebeest. The weather's appalling. After, after that lovely beach camp, it's gone. It's gone usual weather. Wind. It's just starting to spit on the rain. We've been lucky with the weather, like. We had um, a couple of nights on the campsite just to recharge the batteries, you know. And then we've decided to come out here. This is a bothy camp. We're going to find the bothy at the end of the world. It really is. And look on the map, it's a hell of a walk. So get yourself a cup of tea, come along for the hike, and it's a bothy action. Rob will be in the next frame. She's just still getting ready now. Look at this, we're heading into that lot. This is gonna be wild. Proper wild camping. He is. Hey, hey, hey. Are you enjoying your holidays? I am. Yeah. Very good. What was the best Very bit? Nice. Eh? What was the best bit? I think. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're here. That shed up there was built in the 1900s by the Romulans when they were doing the, um, the planned assault of Naboo, the island of Naboo. That's a true story. Well, we've got a long way to go. We're getting battered by wind and now the rain. Ah, uh, it's usual. Normal service. Normal service is resumed. So we're going to push on. So a four and a half mile to go. So this I'm just having a little breather. Rob's taking his coat off because it's uh, it's hard going, it's tough terrain. It's very boggy and um some of the ground there is so soft you just sink into it. You gotta be careful when you put your feet. We're heading up there. Uh the path goes oh that way to the top of there and then over this side. We're literally in the middle of nowhere here, like. We really are in the middle of nowhere. Only two miles in of a five miler. Hi. <laughs> I've got a long way to go. So I'll be pressing on. Well, we're 3.4 miles in. I've got, me, I've got me gloves on. <laughs> That's only ones we've got. <laughs> Cleaning the fire out with. Oh, but we're heading over that way. It's rough like. Or I've had a wee slide. Proper banana slide, wasn't it? I thought he was a goner, like, because I was behind him and I saw him go. And his leg folded up under him. I was concerned, but he got up, shook it off. Knee bothered, a wee rap. We're just following the, uh, the quad tracks. We're hoping that there's nobody out this bothy, like. Otherwise, we'll be sick. Five miles. 
flipping somewhere to be there. A nightmare. The world's most remote bothy. We think anyway. Most remote we've been to. Oh, we'll push on. Got a got about a mile and a half left of uh, what was estimated. Well, we've got about a mile to go. We're doing uh, 4.25 miles that way. I've just come over some really rough terrain there, up and down. I've just slipped in my arse and left a massive skid mark. So it's one all. <laughs> skid marks. Uh, heart rate 89. That's not bad, considering we're putting the effort in. All right. Oh, it's rough though. Rough going. Rough terrain. Boggy, slippy. Uh, your feet just sink away from me, like. Try to keep it out of the mud. It's gonna go up, up there and over. And we're hoping it goes down the back of the head, you know. We should get a visual soon. Visual. Well, after nearly five miles, we've got a visual on it. We had a, a visual back there actually. It's that last half mile. Seems to take forever. But yeah, we found it anyway. So, I'm just negotiating this area of bog, swamp, you name it. We're in it. Eww. And then we'll not be far. Not be long before we're there. Fingers crossed there's nobody there. Fingers crossed. Oh. <sighs> sure, just seen dolphins out there. Something splashing about in the water. Something over there splashing around in the water. Oh. We came from the other side of them hills. Whew. What a hike! 5.17. There it is anyway. Just ran that last <laughs> couple hundred yards. Oh god. Whew. The question I had was like, why the hell would you build this out here? <laughs> Look at that, that's a um that's a bit of backbone that. Look at that. A whale's backbone. Is that what it oh, is? Jesus. Sell us your backbone. <laughs> hey, mate. Sell us your backbone. Hold right, on, let's get in. Or should be locked. Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> oh, it's locked. Can't get in. Do you want to put, put my gloved hands into it? He's done it. Oh, God for that. Hello. Hello. You can't come in. We're not already here. Oh, my God. Is that a buffy? This is the it's a fashionman's storage hood. You can hear. Yeah, it is. Oh, there's a light on. Oh, you get in. Let the viewers see the. Oh, look at this. That's all right, isn't it? Man, your ambition must be very small to write upon this bothy wall. For in the place we have a book, just open it and take a look. Note your name before you depart with common, simple, witty, or just smart. Shut up, man. 5.19 miles. Whoo! Tell you, I've got a writing desk. And what's that? We fire. <laughs> We've got um, a fire log. Oh god. <sighs> Bothy cord. Remove all rubbish, which we always do. 
don't leave perishable food for the rats. What's this about rats? Rats. Woo! Oh, look at this. A big roll of, there's a big roll of silver mat up there. There's a storage area, not a sleeping platform, and that's for your weight. There's a barber jacket there. I'll be leaving with that. Cans of spray paint. Oh, what's going on? It's like somebody's blooming. Like somebody's shed in it. Wait. I'm looking for logs. I may not see any logs. Huh. Typical. We can always break up this wood here and just use that. <laughs> but look, there's a, a pallet. Is there, is there a saw? I saw a saw. There is. There's a saw on the wall. Ah, yeah. uh, I will sort them. Right. Anyway, that's it. We're gonna get the saws sorted. Bothy. Done. We we're outside now. I'm just having a poke around. It's absolutely nothing. <laughs> so remote. This. We worked out that we drove. Oh, 500 miles, we took two ferries and we walked the three hours to get here. That's a dedication for you. It's been built into the rocks, hasn't it? Look, that must have been an existing rock. This is added on. Wind's dying off a bit. There's a bay down there, we have to wander down there later. Is there anything interesting washed up? Definitely saw fishy activity out there. Could be dolphins, could be whales. Oh. oh, there's a dead rat. There's one there. There's a dead rat. It's massive. So we might have company tonight. Rats. Filthy beasts. Spread disease. Ooh. Right, so that's the boffy. The, um, saying that the fire doesn't work, the fireplace don't work, so we can't use it. Which is a shame. We need warming up. Right. Back in. This is not easy to walk on. Oh. Oh. Right. This is the tidal bay. Oh god. Looks cold. Look at that out there. There's the uh, bothy up there. Just up there. Why I been attacked? Supposedly looking at the visitors book, so there was dolphins out there, like a pod of dolphins, but uh, that might have been what I saw before. But they just pass through, don't they? Uh, there's no whales. I just want to wander. We wander in a bit, and then we'll get back and get oh, get a beer and think about starting cooking. Got a nice couple of steaks tonight. Steak, mushrooms, black scene, and uh, I think he's got some mashed potato. Instant mash, right? <coughs> God, broken an ankle. It's not what you need. It's not what you need and it's not what you want. <sighs> Difficult. Whoa, wind's still gone. Look at this.
What is it? <laughs> A buoy. You'd think we'd miss that, wouldn't you? You'd think we'd miss that boy. That. I'll come back early because of the rain. There we go. Rob's making it, uh, Rob's making it like really cozy and romantic. <laughs> in the house as well. <laughs> oh, here's the beds all set up. All romantic. Bit close like but I'm protected. I'm protected from his wandering hands in the night. <whistles> Aye, boffy life. So we're gonna we're gonna just chill out now. And listen to some music. Got the radio working here on FM only, by the way. And then get a beer on eh? Time for the bar to open. Well, yeah, okay. the bar is open, ladies and gentlemen. The bar is even. So here we are. Rab's got his uh, little setup there, his little cooking stable. <coughs> we have got. What is that then? I don't know, this is a bit of fat. Really Two big really steaks, aye. Right? Oh, they're good looking. A bit thin, aren't they? Hope it's hot enough. It's Just fine to put pieces, Andrew. Mm. Mm. You've got two for the price of yin. In. I'm going to have that one. We've got some Blexine. Blexine's here. What's a Blexine? Blexine. That? That's Blexine. Ah, exactly. Don't you remember Galaxus? And um, what else you got? Mash. Mash. He's got the, the mash. mash. He's got the... But what's it called? Idaho, Idaho mash. The, the the Idaho mash. I can't speak. Best mash in the world. Nice stuff. That's without doubt the best mash in the world. Best power of mash, definitely. It is gone anywhere. That's shrunk already. I don't think these are really quality steaks, are they? Don't they? Nah, they though. Right, I'm going to get mine on, and uh, well, that's it, really. Yeah, uh, very, very bloody. Bloody bastard. Very bloody. And we've got for the black scene some lurpak garlic butter. Nice. Chuck that in when that's ready. It's actually really well sound for cooking here. Really yeah. is, it's excellent, aye. Yeah. Eh? It's little, like this. Little, like, yeah. cooking areas. See how I've put the silver foil down there, so it's not to burn my table. Top tip. This is on a stand, so that's not going to burn it either. Anyway, there's my steak done. Nice, medium rare. Aye. Black scenes done to perfection. For me, anyway. Rob's doing the mash. I'm way too good at measuring this mash. Well, you're doing the mash. Do the mash. I've already cracked that one, didn't work. Aye, 
nice one, nice. Do. Just stick it on there. I'll just heat my steak up a wee bit. Yeah. Soto Windmaster. Rubbish. No wind. No, they are the greatest gloves in the world. Everybody says so. All the I experts. Think I've got up, all the experts say they're the greatest dog ever. Even though they're a pile of not really not really good. The best stove I know of is this one, the MSR. Ah! Just try to pick a hot pan up. MSR Wind Pro. A lot of people ask me about this stove. MSR Wind Pro. That's that one. So good. We Rab bought one. It's the bag you get it in. No, that's a good stove. I've had it years. I've had that years and it's been brilliant. So, there you go, if anybody wants to know. Not cheap like, but you know, it doesn't burn the centre of your pan. It spreads the heat nice. It spreads the heat right to the edges. And it's really got great simmer on it, hasn't it? It's a nice. really good simmer. Anyway, so that's that. So anyway, we're going to have these steaks. Oh, I'm going to just put a big dollop of mash on there, and that's that. Um, and then we'll come back if there's anything interesting. Or if we'll get stupid, which we'll probably will. <sighs> just chilling out here, nice and uh, getting out of here. Just nice and relaxed there. Eh? How are you finding the bothy? Bothy like it? It's a great bothy, quality bothy, big, lots of room, lots of practical spaces to do your cooking <clears throat> and everything. It's been thought out, hasn't it? This. Aye, uh, definitely. They've got a bunk up there, like your top bunk there. So you get three people on there, four at a push. Same on the bottom one. You probably get one on that behind Rab there. And you probably get somebody else here. And at a stretch, probably get two people on the floor. One there, one there. Maybe three people on the floor. God! You could get a flipping hole. And there's the other bit through there, the storage area. Oh, hi, there's area. the storage area if you want to be like... I mean, if you're really pushing uh, it. Ah, right? if you're really desperate. You can lie it's so sleep. remote, there's no way there'd be that many people coming here. Sleeping with the rats. Well, we've had more tea anyway. What we didn't tell you about, it was a rat fricassee. We had that rat out the back there. <laughs> we just pressed it. We pressed it on there. Pressed rat and blexine. That's what we had. Right, do you want to open that? Stove and look at this. Oh, do you want some? Nah, do you want some leaves? It's not really hot. No, it's just all comedy effect, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a bit dangerous, isn't it? Nah, it's alright, though. It's like the it's deal. It's like the devil trying to escape. Alright, so. Done a little repair here. That was us. Aye, little running repair on the stove. We're good with tin foil. Remember the video of the bus? Brought it in. Robbie tinfoil. Done the research. We're gonna make a couple. Saw, saw the crack in the in the pipe. Aye. Uh, <laughs> you knew the crack. Knew the crack. So we're gonna make a couple of tinfoil hats later. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it. It's a bit of season. Yeah. Talk about how the Earth is flat. Nobody went to the moon. Chemtrails are real. And pussy is a cat. Absolutely. So that's it. So enough of seeing him, right? Look at me, I'm the main character. I am the main. <laughs> I'm the main character, right? So I've got a beer here, I'm gonna fake drink, I'm gonna pretend to drink it, right? Because it's not open. So. Nice. So that's it, that's it. We're just gonna uh, sit here and chill out. And just for those people who are concerned about the stove, there is a carbon monoxide detector there, which works. It does work. Alright, we'll just give it a squeak and uh, and there's one up there as well which we presume works. So it's all gravy. It's all about board. It is, it's all absolutely It's all about about bothy. It's all about it's all about the views. It's all I'm gonna do some impressions anyway. Who shall I do? King. I'll do the king. Go on then. Right. How's about? 
<laughs> a nice little offshore watcher. Watcher. There he is. Over, over there. Over there. Oh. oh. The king of Neenses. That's enough of that. Target shit. Target shit. We might come back later and talk some like more drunken shit because people love that, but we might not. So don't be surprised if this just transitions to the morning. Ah, well, we're just sitting here chilling out, contemplating life in general, aren't we? Talking about Why, um, I... talking about conspiracy theories, like people are mad, aren't they? Like with all these stuff, conspiracy theories. Absolutely. I mean, I don't believe any of it, right? You know, the chemtrails, the COVID um, stuff, mind controlling drugs. Moon landings. Moon landings were real. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it every now because. It's all a load of rubbish. So uh, if you're a conspiracy theorist, sling it, sling it. Because uh, chemtrails don't exist. It's just, what do you call it? Water vapor? Crystallized water vapor. Crystallized water like that. vapor, that's all it is, huh? Crystallized wheat of vapor. Meanwhile, we're uh, getting to the furthest point away from the country. Mm -hmm. Sitting in Bothy, five miles from anywhere. Yeah. Lighting a fire and we're on tinfoil lads. A five mile hike in, 500 mile drive, <laughs> two ferries, another, another, what was it about, another 50 mile drive, <laughs> yeah. and then a five mile walk. Yeah, we're not daft. We're not daft. We know things. <laughs> we know things. You know things? You ain't seen me, right? Oh, my tinfoil hat. Oh, no, don't lose your hat. <laughs> don't lose your hat, because they'll get in. Ah, they will get in. Me question mark. Me question marks, Field. It's back up. Ah, oh, me question mark is failing. All right, so um, what we're going to do now is finish these beers, because we've only had, like, one can each. And, uh, and then we're going to go to bed. Not together. Well, actually, yeah, we are together. We're very close it's quite together. Cozy, actually. Yeah, I think that's a bit, uh, whew, whew, bit suspicious. That like, <laughs> I might keep my hat on. <laughs> I'll remove my shoes. I'll remove my gloves and my coat, but I'm gonna leave my hat on. Who I sang that? Might wrap the tinfoil in some something else. I like. uh, wrap the tinfoil in, in case. Make a tinfoil plug. Make a tinfoil plug. <laughs> Hero, dear. Anyway, look at this. This is Rab's, this, you know, not mine. Fire maple candle. Like, what is it called? Aye, fire maple candle. A candle thing. It's mint. It's good, like. Mm -hmm. Fire maple. If you want one, right? I'm not promoting this, so I don't care if you get one or not. It is mint, though. Use me code, Andy15. 15% 15. 15 off. Boosh. Rob. Didn't know that. <laughs> that price. He didn't know about the curd. Yeah. <clears throat> I've just told him tonight. I don't <laughs> watch his videos. Uh, that's, it. that's what it is. Don't watch his he videos. doesn't he doesn't watch my videos. Even though he's in them. Doesn't watch them. We ride. Anyway, that's it, right? Enough of this rubbish. We'll see you in the morning. morning. Adios. Buongiorno. Ciao. You, you, can't, you, you, the fire, like. you can't go wrong with ciao because that means also hello and goodbye. Look at that. Oh, that's a good fire, yes. Look at that. Very good, very nice. Very nice, very good. No shit, Andrew. He's broke it. He's bloody broke it. Oof. Well, here we are. It's the morning. The very next day. That's the route out. Five miles that way. Weather's a bit better. Wind's dropped. There's something in the bay. Swimming about out there. It's just staying in one place, so it won't be dolphins. Could be sea lions. Could be uh, 
know. Maybe so. so we've tidied up. It's gonna look how nice and clean it is in here. Oh dear. That's it. I've got it. Always leave the bossy better than you found it. Not as you found it, better than you found it. So we've tidied up. We slept on here. So all that's nice and clean. We'll give it a sweep. Swept the floor. Got the bag of rubbish. Yeah, swept up, swept the floor. Our Rob's just got a few things to pack away. We've signed the book. So if you come here, go back to the 24th of May and you'll see, you'll see we've signed the book. So just waiting for Rab to come back now and then we can head off. Good, good bothy this like. See the upstairs bit. I had something on my face in the middle of the night, like something crawling on my face. But I just flicked it on my Rab. <laughs> Uh, bag's just ready, nice and light. It's, I filled it up, I put the tent inside the bag this time. There's plenty of room. Let's go and see. There's something in the bay, you know. Oh, I've been seeing it, I've been watching it. Ah. Okay. I think it's a whale. It's a sea lions. Yeah. Uh, could be. Anyway, I'm just saying, trot everybody. Enjoy that night. Oh, it was brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. It was great body. Isn't it? Aye. And I'm just saying we've left yeah, it the we've left it better than we found it. Aye, there's something out there. There'll be whales out there. So unless anything amazing happens on the way back, it's just that long walk back. We'll see you for the next one.